You probably remember my radium watches from other videos. You will likely remember that the radium paint would glow in UV light, like it does now. And then those watches are somewhat hot, but not all that hot. Let's see. So, for beta and gamma radiation, we have about 20 something, yeah, about 20 microsieverts an hour. So, that's quite hot, but not that hot. Now, here's something that I just recently bought. It's an altimeter. It is a British altimeter from World War II for sure. And it's likely due to the imprint saying MKXIV, MK14, and uh, 6A685. Now, this instrument is from a Spitfire, but it has also been used in other planes. But I just like to imagine that this particular one was used in a Spitfire. And what's interesting is that you can see it has no glow at all in UV light. Those white speckles you can see is actually where the paint has come off already. You can see no glow, so I was like, oops, maybe it's not radium after all. Well, let's see what the Gamma Scout says. As usual, in beta and gamma mode. Same as with the watch. And you can see what's happening if I just bring it close. I'm not even holding it on top, you can see. And it's already... And you can hear it by the screen. It's easily 100 microsieverts. It's why over 100, but I'll actually turn off that clicker now, because that would get on our nerves. And if I hold my dosimeter right on top of that, you can see what happens. Six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, and if I hit the right spot, we will be able. We go into overflow mode, which means that we are reaching over 1000 microsievert an hour, which means we're just about at 1 millisievert. You can see we're just over 1 millisievert here. So that is quite crazy. And that's just, um, beta and gamma radiation, as you know. Let's just switch over for alpha radiation as well. As I said, um, the Geiger Müller tube is already overflowing, so <laughs> this will not be an accurate reading. The actual real reading would be higher, because this meter is not able to take that much radiation. Yeah, it is. It's not what it was made for is only accurate up to a thousand microsieverts, not even. So, anyway, you can see we have 1,500 microsieverts here. That's quite a crazy reading. Let's see what's gamma only. And you can see that finally allows that poor little gamma scout to relax. We have just about 60 microsieverts of gamma radiation here. You can see that the softer but still quite penetrating radiation, so the beta radiation, is a lot on this little altimeter. And we can see that everything was basically painted with radium, as saying how many feet um, the numbers itself, the lines between the numbers, um, the watch hands or whatever you would call them, the hands anyway. And yeah, and the reason why it is not 
um, glowing in UV light, I suppose, is that back then they didn't know they could um, dope the radium zinc sulfide with uh, carbon, uh, with sorry, with copper or with uh, silver, and um, produce a much brighter glow that way. So what they did, they had just radium and zinc sulfide, and they just used much more radium to induce a glow. After all, so um, Air Force or Royal Air Force instruments were painted with a lot more radium than watches and stuff, of course, because they were vital war instruments. So that's why this thing has a crazy amount of radium. I can only estimate how much radium is actually contained in there, but I suppose the overall activity would be about 10 to 30, maybe even more microcurry of radium. So that's quite a lot. And so if you collect uh, items from warbirds, always make sure to have them in the proper containers. Like, I will put this one in a sealed plastic bag because of the radon emitted and because um, you can see the radium paint is coming off easily. So um, that's that's a really big contamination if you have radium paint from that thing around. So really be careful with it and um, those kind of instruments are of course never to be given to kids to play with. I think you should really be aware of this so I hope um, this was slightly educational and just for fun here's some clicks. You can see what's happening if I'm just over it. That's quite crazy. And just to give you an idea of the contamination hazard, in this container is a small piece of radium paint that has come off of that altimeter. Where is it? Hang on, I'll try and get it out. I'm not sure if it will be visible for the camera. There it is, can you see it? That tiny little speckle. You can hardly see it, I know, but you will be able to hear it once I place my dosimeter over it, trust me. So there we go, this tiny speckle. There's nothing else around. You can see background radiation of uh, 0.4. There's nothing around but this very tiny speckle of radium dust. And if I place my dosimeter over that, you can see what's going on. You can see we have around 35 microsieverts and it's alpha, beta and gamma but still from this tiny speckle here <laughs> it's got an insane amount of radiation even if I switch over to beta and gamma only you can very easily detect it as you see we have about 27 and with gamma only You can see it's still detectable with around one microsievert. That's nothing more than this tiny speckle of paint. So be careful with those old aircraft warbird instruments.